Hello, and welcome back to Battletech. We are, um, well, we're continuing a, a mission here. I might have to break this recording into multiple steps because I, uh, I didn't realize it was going to launch into another story mission, and there doesn't seem to be a way to not do that. So, the Independent Prospectors League thanks you for your assistance, Commander. We're miners, not soldiers. We can't fight these bastards off on our own. That's what you're paying us for, don't worry. We'll get your platforms back. This is, isn't is just about reclaiming what's ours. Majesty Medals kill hundreds of us when they try to jump our claim. We want you to make them bleed for what they've done here. Commander, the Op 4 is holding two of the IPL's mining platforms. Um, the first designated alpha is where we're keeping their turret generator. They're keep, keeping their turret generator. Move in fast and take it out. Those turrets hit hard, so you'll want to neutralize them ASAP. Platform Bravo is the site of the Op 4's co corporate sec uh, security tower. Good lord, words are hard. Engage and destroy it. If they bring in a mech to protect it, take that out too. Then circle on back and we'll collect our pay. That's right, I'm ready and waiting to authorize the transfer. Now go on, Commander. Hit those corporate pigs where it hurts. We'll be watching the action from here. That's a, some foreshadowing there if you didn't catch that last part. Um, so, this is um, not quite our first like legitimate mission, but it is uh, a little bit of a, you know, sign of things to come. We aren't yet freelance. Um, once things become freelance, it'll become a little bit more grindy. And I'm uh, very interested to know what y'all uh, would like to see how would you would like to see um, the series play out from there I might even ask you directly okay nice um, armor and internal structures I know all about this facing I know about that um, what I mean is that once, when uh, we get to a point where I'm basically free to take on missions that I want and also uh, I will have to grind um, for experience, I think I just want to uh, reserve. Grind for experience, um, grind for money, grind for mechs. Uh, I'm not sure if y'all are going to want to see me do literally every single mission. Maybe you just want to see me do just the story missions. Maybe you want to see me do every mission. Maybe you want to see a um, edited down episode of the highlights of me doing, you know, all of the major stuff. I don't know. I'm, I'm asking. Uh, maybe I'm fishing for comments as well as, as you know, because I'd like to I'd like to see the series do well. But at the same time, um, I am genuinely interested. What would you like to see? But for now, these are story missions, so the, the point is rather moot. Um, I'm going to be building up quite a lot of heat from this. So why don't we cut off a couple of our lasers? We can't possibly um, kill it. This is a commando. Commando is a pretty light mech. Oh, wow, we actually got a crit. Oh. Knock me over with a feather. And that guy, too, apparently. <clears throat> This is Glitch. Glitch is in a Vindicator. The Vindicator is a pretty good mech. I like it quite a bit. Um, she's got LRM5s and uh, PPC. The PPC is quite large, uh, long range. However, if you notice the arc on those red lines, that means that we are only going to be able to hit them with um, arcing shots, generally speaking, our missiles. So nothing like lasers, and the PPC is a laser. Um, so we can't can't hit from there, unfortunately. Uh, we could try and jump closer, but it looks like most of this is the same. Although we do have one one straight line shot, but I'll talk about this one as well. It's, it's going to be a little bit of a complicated one to explain. Well, not too much, actually. This just means that we have not like a completely clear line of sight. And so um, there's a we won't be doing full damage. However, hitting with all of our guns is probably better than only hitting with just our LRM, so why don't we go ahead and do this. Um, it's not a bad idea to do this as well, to cut down on their evasion. 
And we did, in fact, hit with, like, basically only one missile. Commander. And then a behemoth is in a Shadowhawk. Shadowhawk is just a decent all-around little mech. Not too heavy. It's comparable to the Blackjack, I think, in some ways. It's it's just kind of a generic mech. Maybe I'm wrong about that. It's something you can kind of balance in any way you really want. You can make it long range, you can make it short range. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, hit this commando. Try and kill it, did not kill it, that's fine. So here's a um, kind of, let's see here. I'd, I'd like to reserve De uh, Decker. Decker is in a scout mech. He's in a spider. The spider is a very fast mech. Um, so I see if we reserve him, he's going to be put in a initiative with what? Everyone else? Who is that? Oh, are those the turrets? Well, the red line, the red chevrons are definitely the turrets, but what are those other chevrons? Allies? I've been sensor locked. Okay, so we just have Decker. Um, now, the idea uh, that all of those turrets are going to get to go, and that sucks, because I was going to talk about um, scouts for a moment. Scouts have this cool ability where you can, um, they're generally speaking first on the turn order, um, because they're fast. They're scouts, right? But unfortunately, these turrets have also kind of gotten reserved to the very last, because they haven't had anything to shoot at. If I give them something to shoot at then, you know, I'm going to be in a world of hurt, especially if it's a little tiny mech like the uh, spider. What we could do is we could try and move just a little bit forward. And what I want to do is basically, since this is the end of the turn orders, pop my head out and take a shot on this commando with my fairly limited, well, two medium lasers is nothing to scoff at. Pop, pop. 40% damage reduction. Well, we got rid of some of their evasion. They locked on. Warning. Enemy sensor lock detected. Not good. They on me. Ooh, they were able to hit me. So they did a little bit. Of, oh, God. Okay, I may have messed up here. Fortunately, the evasion, I guess, maybe allowed me to uh, miss some of those shots. The idea here was to pop up, take a shot, and then um, bail, basically. So we're going we're gonna to do that. I'm gonna bail. I, copy. I don't think they can hit him from there. And we'll hit that brace. Oh, they might be able to hit him actually. Yeah. I guess, uh, you know, mix. They can move. Oh god, are they gonna cherry pick? God damn it. That's one thing that is a little bit frustrating about this game is um, the enemy it com completely randomly picks who to fire at. And so you can just get really unlucky and then they just it looks like they're cherry picking like one of your mechs constantly and it's just it's just really annoying because like you, you your mech can just get completely killed and i mean in this case um it's not great my pilot got injured if he get in gets injured two more times he dies so i oh we cool we have our our um special ability this is precision strike this lets us when we are aiming well we don't have to do it here because i'm for sure going to uh kill this lad there's no question in my mind no well he did have quite a lot of evasion i should have taken the precision shot you'll see me make that mistake quite a lot okay can we 30 percent? wow that evasion Okay, let's see if we can't jump somewhere better. I'm a little bit worried here. We need to see that turret generator. So maybe if I get up here, I'll have sight on that turret generator. Probably not. I don't think I have range. Will he make the mistake of not using um, precision again? God damn it. That PPC really generates quite a lot of heat. You know what? Let's not do PPC, but we'll do a precision strike. And this lets us target a specific area. It doesn't really guarantee us, but it does um, just kind of give us a better chance. Wow. 
They are a survivor. They do be surviving. And uh, Behemoth is not able to hit him. So that's a bummer. Well, I really don't want to uh, be in a position. Oh, God, that sucks. I don't want to be getting shot at by the turrets. I'm tempted to just kind of brace, but I don't think that's worth it. Well, it's it's literally anything. Who knows? Maybe I'll get lucky. Nope. So pretty sure. Okay, well, we haven't seen the turrets move yet. Wow, they're still shooting at the spider? Come on. Yes, Commander. Okay, let's, um, what I'd like to do is jump over there. I'm going to build up a lot of evasion. And then hopefully I can shoot on this it. spider from behind. But also I'm going to get him closer to the turret uh, generator. Targeting for an alpha wow, double miss. Getting very, very unlucky with some of this. No joy. No joy. Okay, um, we definitely need to do something. Something better than what we have been doing. This is not bad. Need to kill one of these. I really just need to kill these mechs. Roger. I'm just gonna, like throw everything at this commando there you go Enemy down. we'll move glitch around this plateau hopefully she'll be you know good defended from uh those turrets and um oh that's quite the overheat could we what could we uh the bpc has only got 30 percent so let's just like yeah, this is good enough. Hey, buddy. Behind you. And then finally, I will go. Um, you might wonder, like, why why are you doing a lot of jumping around? Um, jumping, I mean, it generates heat. So that kind of sucks. And in fact, I think I would like to not do this. Let's do like a... We only have a 50% chance of hitting this. This is like a flying attack, flying melee hit, and it also makes us unstable. So it's very risky, but it's really cool. So, hey, I do wish the animation was a little bit neater, you know, it was a little bit cooler. But you can't have everything. Um, yeah, very, very risky. But uh, it's it's cool if you can pull it off. Um, so I'm probably gonna. Well, we're gonna reserve Decker. Waiting for my opening. Everyone's move, huh? Ugh, the turrets are such a pain in the butt. Okay, let's. I don't I don't really like up, where we're at right now. I'm gonna move. I'm gonna get everyone like behind this plateau. And just like build up a bit of um, evasion. And then the idea is I'm going to move Decker close enough that they should be able to spot the turret generator. If we hit the turret generator, then all of the other, all of the turrets go offline. So we don't have to worry about the turrets. That's really all we have to do. We can make a beeline. And actually, uh, Glitch has a pretty good... Um, potential to hit it i'd like to generate a bit more evasion i want to get her a little bit closer she'll probably get shot at by this turret over here Ready for orders. Waiting for the right move. yeah yeah turrets go absolutely last which makes the scout um you know a little bit less uh, useful Okay, cool. So we had a we had a good position there. 
So you can see Decker can go first because of the scout. So what we'll do is we'll jump out there. I'm going to jump like way out there. That's going to build up a ton of evasion. I think if I shoot at it, I'll only lose a little bit of evasion. What's his evasion at now? Yeah, he's still got tons of evasion. So, you know, we're good there. Um, honestly, I'm just going to, like, really go for it here. Oof. I mean... I mean... <laughs> it's only got 75 health. So I don't need to hit it with absolutely everything. In theory, if I hit it with everything here, I should destroy it. But even if I don't, I have like two other people. There we go. Nice. So all those turrets are down. Um, so what are we looking at? There's another turret generator. Oh, that's the, that's our allies. So what's over there? Kopsepka... Cor corpse sec tower Don't need to tell me twice. So now we're just gonna make our way towards that Enemy contact so they've got themselves themselves some more mechs probably A little bit worried about Decker Decker has the potential to die in this mission go. He got, uh, he got hit a couple of times. What I'd like to do, I'm going to reserve him. We're going to, we're going to try to actually make him useful as a scout. Again, we're going to, we're going to move forward, generate some, um, evasion. I hear ya. And, uh, you know, just kind of sit tight. Of course, Wait, using jump jets means that we're not cooling down, which is kind of a bummer. I'm st I've still got a ton of heat on uh, my blackjack. Standing by. And again, we're going to just reserve Decker. Reserve him again. We'll see what happens. Okay. Commander. So, yeah, we're going to jump in. Take a peek, maybe even shoot at something. Roger. Let's let's shoot at that scorpion. We have a pretty good chance of destroying that. We will overheat, but we can just sprint away at the beginning of the next round. Confirmed. Nice. We didn't destroy it, but that's okay. My yeah, 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 yeah. I know about heat. Okay, so now you see we can um, just kind of sprint back. Probably, yeah, we'll lose a little bit of heat. And that's what's kind of fun about scouts. I, I would wouldn't mind making use of scouts in this playthrough. I haven't really done much with scouts. Because they're fragile, and I don't like fragile. Um... I think this means I will lose heat. Can't tell if... Yeah, I, I'm going to lose a bit of heat. So we're just going to hit them with um, my auto cannons. Because auto cannons don't generate any heat. Or they don't generate much heat. This isn't my ideal setup. And uh, generally speaking, I do have some heat sinks on my mechs to mitigate the heat. But, um, you know, I don't, I don't yet have control over that. I will, though. Oh yeah, I was going to say, one of the reasons I jump around a lot is it gives you full m m maneuverability. So you might notice, like I, I mentioned before, depending on how you move around on the map, uh, dictates what direction you're going to be pointing in. You have some ability to turn, um, like, or, you know, end your turn in a certain direction, but it's not um, perfect. But if you jump, then, I mean, first of all, it's a great way of building up manu um, evasion. Uh, and getting some distance between you and where you were, but also you get full control over what direction you, you're pointing in. You can basically jump backwards if you want, which is really cool. 
So, um, you know, if I jump as far as I can forward, I'm going to be generating a bunch of evasion. And um, I can take a shot. Or I can just brace, see what happens. Eh, there's only one enemy on the turn order, so we might as well take a shot. And we'll use our PPC. Yes! Big laser go boom! And he, uh, I destroyed a jump jet. That doesn't really matter. I also like to, um, like in addition to, you know, trying to generate a bunch of evasion, I really like to try and get a height advantage. If I can. We'll have a look and see if this is actually giving us a height advantage. Uh, let's see here. Target size and height difference. Look at that. We've got a major height difference. So we are doing great. And you know what? Let's go, go ahead and do a precision strike. We've got very good odds of hitting them. So why don't we go ahead and target that left torso because its its armor is gone. Copy that. There we go. Broke off their arm. Critical hit, Commander. There's really fun stuff. Uh, at some point I'll kind of talk in depth about this. Um, you know, Brian gave me the the fill, the lowdown on like how all of this stuff works. But um, there's fun stuff like, you know, if there's ammo stored in a part of their uh, their mech, like for instance, uh, if we look here, yeah, that right torso has some LRM ammo. Um, and I'm pretty sure they had some ammo in their left torso. They did, it had some um, auto cannon ammo. And in fact, what's happened there um, is exactly what I'm talking about, is that you can get a crit and their ammo can explode and like that damage just goes to the rest of the mech. So that's really cool. Um, it's a good reason to like target certain parts of their ship or their mech. Not just like, you know, you know, oh yeah, hit the arms and then they don't have weapons anymore. Sometimes they don't have the weapons in their arms. They get an accuracy bonus for putting weapons in their arms. But also, um, if you if they have their weapons in their torso, then there's a higher chance they get to keep their gun. Um, so, you know, it's not always the best idea to put it in their hand. Okay. So again, we're losing heat. I like just kind of shooting with our auto cannons. We could, yeah, we've, we're generating some pretty good morale here. Let's go ahead and aim for their center torso. If we break their center torso, we destroy the mech. So. Ready for orders. And we can just, you know, continue pecking away at this um, Shadowhawk. Uh, we could do another precision strike. Why not? You can see here, um, if we look at this, they, there's only 45 health left on the center torso. So if we hit it with all of our guns here, here we'll probably destroy the mech. We did not. That's fine. There we go. Center torso destroyed. And stay down. And again, I'm going to reserve with Decker. Called shots. I know all about called shots. Um, reserve with Decker again. We'll see what's up. And um, let's let's do some fun stuff. Go over here, and maybe we can take a shot on this vehicle. Nice. Love that. Got some resolve. Resolve is what lets us do things like precision strike. I don't use vigilance all that often, I will say. Look at this ridiculous jump we can do. Love that for us. Got it. And honestly, we can start shooting the, the copsec tower. I don't know if that's what we're supposed to be doing. Yeah, it is. I don't know why we can't reach it. That's fine, though. Oh, did I build up too much heat for that ridiculous jump? Probably did, yeah. Minor damage, Commander. Nothing to see here. Why can I not hit the copsec tower? Okay, you know what? Let's just like move clo as close as we can, and then also shoot at that little scorpion. 
Can we not hit it now? Uh, oh, I guess I can't hit it. I guess I messed that up a little bit. There we go. Now I can hit it if I make that jump. It's got 50 health. I don't really need to turn everything on. In fact, this is overkill. I'd really like to destroy this little uh, scorpion. Oh, that's gonna oof. just turn off the PPC. Pretty sure if I shoot. Oh, I can't. So never mind. I was gonna say if I shot at the scorpion, I would have. Um, I would I would maintain my overheat, so that would not be good. By the way, there we go. Let's just kill this little scorpion. You can just stomp on it. I probably could have just done a melee hit. There we go. Okay, so all we got to do is head back and uh, should be done. Wink. I read you, Commander. Moving out. Wi wink. Coordinates received. That's a big old wink for you. I don't know if you caught that. It was subtle, I know. Moving out. Move order received. All right. Just got to make our way over. Sometimes it takes a little while, you know. Sound smart. Cooling. On the move. Poor Decker is the only one that got kind of really hit hard. He's the only one that really got hit in the scout. <laughs> Brilliant work, Commander. We should have no trouble mopping up at the other platforms now that their defenses are down. We get the job done. Speaking of which, I wasn't finished. These platforms won't do us much good if we can't hold them. Majesty Metals taught us that. So we're going to need your battle mechs. You're going to want to reconsider that. Why? Your lance has already been target locked by our turrets. Now power down and surrender and we'll let you walk. Or try to fight and we'll tear you to shreds. Your call. Uh, well, there goes our goddamn payday. Hold tight, Commander. We're on our way. I won't I won't lie. Um, this mission kind of pissed me off. Uh, not because of the mechanics. I was genuinely annoyed that this guy shortchanged. Like, it was like, we'll pay you with the, uh, you know, it just kind of took me directly to a bad place. We'll pay you with exposure. Did I sprint? I didn't mean to do that. God damn it. Acknowledged. I don't know what's going on, why I can't hit the turret generator. There you go. Locked on. Unfortunately, they're going to get to have a, a round of turret lobbies. Oh, no, maybe not. Yes, come in. Not sure why not. Um, should be good. Should, should, this should just take it out. Firing. There you go. So that is basically all of their forces done. They've got a couple of tanks. What's that over there? They've got a little galle galleon, okay. Oh, there's another unit over there. All right. Got it. Um. Yeah, we can hit it with everything. No reason why not. You might say, well, because you're going to generate heat. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't very much heat. It's all good. So we're hitting it from the side. Side's got 18 armor and 11 health. So there's a very, very good chance we'll destroy it with auto cannons. There we go. Ouch. I'm taking internal damage. Poor Decker. Good lord. 
Can we do a melee hit on this guy? Let's do that. Let's see what that looks like. I love I love the melee hits on the tanks. Crunch. <laughs> Even the little scout mech is enough to just squish the tanks. Let's get the hell out of here. And oh, and Darius? I know, Mayor, I know. You want another team meeting. Give the man a prize. I actually really appreciate the little back and forth, the uh, like dialogue between characters. The the characters are, are quite well written and they they're they're given a, like their own moment of agency. Um, you actually kind of get to know them pretty well, which I really appreciate. Uh, I generally speaking, um, not like pulled into story or character dialogue in games, so I was kind of pleasantly surprised that uh, it, it, it did a good job in this game. So faction reputation, Darius, and Majesty Metals and Manufacturing. So this is the screen we're going to get used to, um, ish. This is slightly different. We didn't get paid, which sucks. Um, we got some mercenary score, sort of. We got a little bit of morale. We'll talk about morale later. Um, this is a good screen too. Uh, we'll get used to this as well. We get to review how we did. You can see the spider took some pretty nasty damage. It's, uh, wow, it's center torso got really hurt. If it had taken one more blow, we might have lost the spider and Decker. Um, Decker is injured. He's going to take 27 days to recover. This is something uh, that we'll have to watch out for in the future. It's something we're going to want to try and like plan against, um, you know, our pilots getting injured. I'll spend a little bit of time. Uh, I think after that, we'll get to finally like have access to our, um, you know, freelancing uh, board. It's almost a pun, actually. I just realized freelancing is that's really good. Ooh, <laughs> uh, yo, happy accidents. You need to start finding us better clients, Darius. I mean it. We've been slumming it on the ass end of the frontier for three years now, and we are drowning in debt. Yeah, I'll have a look at the board. I'll talk a little bit about the mechanics, and then we'll end this episode. And then we can finally get to, um, like, you know, uh, what the what the main gameplay loop is. And uh, again, I'd like to ask y'all what would what you would like. Would you like me to uh, include all footage of, uh, you know, me doing... Um, just kind of the freelance missions, taking missions, doing mission boards, bounties, and stuff like that. Or would you just like to see the campaign? Um, those who have seen the campaign will know exactly what to expect, whereas there's a little bit of um, re replayability or re randomness in uh, me taking missions, so you let me know. <clears throat> I'm fully aware of our financial situation, Mayor, but uh, I can't just conjure up new clients out of, the, out of thin air. Florentia, do me a solid and back me up on this. Is this why you all made me your commander so I could break up fights and review financial reports? Damn right it is. It isn't like any of us wanted the job. Darius, could you walk us through the details of this trouble we're in? It might help if you broke things down point by point. Sure thing, Yang. Uh, point one, Mayor's right, we're in debt. Every sea bill we make technically belongs to the banks. Point two, this corner of the frontier is a dead zone for mercenary work. There are clients, but they're terrible, and that's just a fact. And that's it. There are no other points. What's our best case scenario? How many jobs will it take to repay the loans? Truthfully, I can't even say. We're in a pretty deep hole, and from where I'm standing, I don't see a whole lot of daylight. The thing is, these banks, and I use that word loosely, they don't want us to pay offered loans. They'll do whatever they can get away with to keep us on the hook. Hit us with fees, jack up interest rates, misfile our pa paperwork. I'm trying to find us a way out of this, but it's going to take time. Yo, social commentary in my tactic ba battle mech uh, simulator game? I know. Say it ain't so. Politics? Come on. In my video games? Sigh. Every, and every day that passes, we accumulate more debt. If we keep going like we have been, we're screwed. Why not just refuse to pay? We can afford to throw our weight around. We've got battle mechs. That wouldn't be a very good idea, Florentia. The banks wouldn't come for us themselves. They'd hire mercenaries, and you already know how the hard up frontier mercs are for work. If we stiff the banks, we'll wind up dead or in debtor's prison. And out here in the frontier, those are basically the same thing. Okay, so we're in a bad spot. What are we going to do about it? I don't see what else we can do, Florentia. I'm already serving up every legitimate contract I can find. 
unless you want me to sidestep the mercenary review board entirely, we're basically out of options. Um, go around the MRB? No thanks. Taking on an uncertified job is a great way to wind up with a knife in your back. We just got betrayed on a board certified contract, Yang. How much worse could it get? Plenty. What happened down there was an exception, boss. With uncertified jobs, it's the rule. Remind me again why we don't just skip town and head to a nicer corner of the periphery? Because the banks and the jump shit crews have an arrangement. Until we pay up, they're going to keep us on a short leash. That's a good reason. Look, Darius, Mayor's right. We need to start earning some money, some real money, and we need to do it soon. It's only a matter of time before something breaks down that I can't fix with duct tape and good intentions. Origin exiled. I had to work a few uncertified jobs after I was uh, asked to leave my home system. It's ris risky, but it's better than going hungry. I have uh, found that a lot of the Origin um, specific dialogues, um, they feel a little bit ham-fisted. Just a little bit. They generally speaking sound very much like speaking as someone who is exiled from my old family, you know, and, and royalty and all this, uh, you know, yada, yada, yada. It's, it's always like, you know, speaking as a mercenary that started from the back streets. So, um, I, I and I, I have to pick it. I don't really have to pick it, but you know, it's, I, why, if you have an origin, why not use it? You hear that, Darius? The voice of experience speaks. Going around the MRB might kill us, sure, so might a thousand other things, but I'd rather die trying than give up and accept the inevitable. It's settled then. I'll start digging for contracts outside the MRB system. Who knows? Maybe it'll work out for the best. It isn't like we've got all that much to lose. In the meantime, we need to find another paying job, and our prospects in this system have completely dried up. I'd recommend booking travel to a neighboring system and seeing what the review board has for us. With any luck, we'll find enough work to keep going until something better rolls in. The banks are holding our jump ship, uh, ship access hostage until we repay our debts. For now, we can only go between Urukruin and the nearby systems of Alloway, uh, Bellerophon, uh, and Detroit. Detroit! <laughs> Why is it Detroit? <laughs> our top priority right now leads to needs to be finding work so we can raise cash. None of the contracts here are very good. I picked out the only one only viable one I could find, and it helpfully includes our travel fees as part of the deal. Come by the command center when you're ready to review it. All right. And this is our, um, this is, this is a screen we are going to get used to. I'm, I'm, I'm going to get used to it anyway. I've, I'm, I've been used to it for the last couple of weeks. Um, let's review. <clears throat> we'll go through it a little bit. Um, we can go through to a hiring hall and get some more pilots. This will be something we may have to do if um, I lose a couple of pilots. Hope that we don't really have to do that. I don't mind keeping what we've got. Um, go to the store. This is where we can buy parts. This is also where we can buy parts of mechs. And I'll kind of talk about that maybe in the next episode, but um, you have to build mechs. That's it, really. Contracts. Um, we only have the one, but we'll have more in the future. Uh, this will basically be a story mission, but, you know, it's... There'll, there'll be more missions in the future. Um, we can talk to the specific characters and get some more information. Those are still serve as kind of like extra tutorials if we want. We can go to the barracks, and we can um, level up our pilots. Now, I will probably be going for full tactics on everyone. Um, there's a reason for that, and it basically means um, it, it builds into initiative, which means that we can game initiative a little bit, and it makes life for me a little bit easy. Also, um, this active ability here, sensor lock, is not completely worthless. It's actually quite good. The other thing I will be doing is building gunnery. Once I've built those two stats up quite a bit, then I'll start going for, like, guts um, or, I guess, piloting. I like piloting if we can get a good mech with a good punch. Piloting builds to our melee hits. Training complete. Good to go. um, we can upgrade Decker. We'll give him tactics. Like I say, we're going to be going for tactics. Um, for people that are piloting mechs that have a lot of guns, like a lot of specifically long-range guns, we'll probably give them enough gunnery to give them the multi-lock or multi-target because it is quite good. 
Um, you've seen me make use of it already. So that's them leveled up. Then we have our mech bays. This will be um, more robust in the future, but for now we have uh, the one bay. And we have, you know, this is where we're going to repair our ships. It's going to take 24,000 to repair our little spider. I honestly don't think it's worth it. We're just going to not do that. Because um, we have a locust. Uh, the locust is actually kind of crappy. I'm not a huge fan of the locust. In fact, let's sell that now. Yeah, we're going to get 130,000 basically from the locust and then we can repair the spider. Um, we should ref actually before. Yeah, we'll do that refunder thing. Let's refit everything. Um, it's a good way to end this episode. Maybe I'm going to be refitting all of our mechs. Um, we don't really have a lot of flexibility. So actually, why don't we just refit the blackjack for now? But what we're going to be doing is let's strip it. Um, well, I mean, repair it, but you know, it's repaired. Then we're going to max out the armor. The, um, the game has a habit of like defaulting all of your mechs to having kind of compromised armor. Um, and, uh, Brian kind of clued me into the fact that if you just like take every weapon off and then, um, put max armor on and then start building from there, things, uh, things start to look a lot better, a lot better. Um, so do we have any more heat sinks? We do have a couple of, yeah, we've got four heat sinks and we've got quite a bit of room left. I would like to put some heat sinks and jump jets on this. Four medium lasers and, um, some heat sinks. Let's just like really go for it. And I'm going to put some jump jets on it. Oh, that's another heat sink. We might put another heat sink on there, honestly. Cannot add standard jump jets to right torso. Why not? Oh, did we max out? Uh, max number of jump jets for mech reached. Okay, that's fine. Then uh, let's just go ahead and add another heat sink. Um, we could add this back. There's no reason why not. Oh, wait, what? Is this mech is carrying ammo that it can? I oh, that's ammo. Whoops. Oh, is that five tons? Six tons. Didn't realize that. Wow. Okay. Um, well, we'll just kind of like this might not seem ideal, but this is actually pretty good. And we're going to be able to use those four medium lasers uh, without worrying about heat at all. So I think that's quite nice. Um, and we're going to have a lot more armor. We are vastly underweight, but um, maybe we can look at the store and see if there's something real quick. Generally speaking, I mean, I wouldn't mind having a support gun. Okay, another medium laser. I don't think we can put any more medium lasers on it. Doesn't look like this store has like anything. Yeah, um, that's kind of a shame. I was kind of hoping for some support weapons. No support weapons. I love the support weapons because, like, it basically, whenever you do a melee punch, you can then fire a support weapon. But anyway, the um, blackjack, it's not gonna have auto cannons. The auto cannons, I do like the auto cannons, but uh, might be better to put auto cannons on the spider, honestly. We could try that. So, first of all, repair all, um, strip equipment. We'll definitely put these jump jets back on and we'll pro oh, there's our, there's a, um, machine gun. Oh, first of all, max armor. So you don't have a lot of room to work with. Um, can we put, yeah, so this is what I did, um, in, uh, this is like, again, I mean, saying this a lot, but, um, Brian, like, basically gave me keys to the kingdom here. It's like, just put, uh, just put a couple of multi-guns on. And you're basically good. Um, or support guns. 
Um, I mean, that's okay. I really don't want to go in with no jump jets. I really don't know how to make this better, but this isn't terrible, I suppose. But we don't have nearly the range of jump as we did. Extremely maneuverable scout. Not anymore. Okay, so what can we do for the Vindicator? Vindicator's got a ton of heat sinks, PPC, medium laser, and a support laser. Um, let's take off that support laser. Let's put on another large laser. Oh, actually, hold on. Um, strip equipment, max armor. I do think I want to... Uh, I don't know about the PPC, actually. Let's put on a large laser. And then we'll put on a medium laser and another medium laser and another medium laser. That's pretty good. I like the PPC. I like the PPC. Uh, let me just say that. But I one thing I don't like about it is it actually kind of conflicts with these lasers. This is range long. Medium is standard. The large laser and medium laser can play well together. They're okay. The weird thing about the PPC is it's range very long and it has to have um it has a minimum range meaning it can't like it's meant to be fired long distance um whereas the medium and large lasers they can be fired pretty much from anywhere um so it just kind of adds this weird extra restriction uh i don't mind it i actually think it works quite well with things like long range missiles but i don't like it with like medium and large lasers because they're kind of short range i love you know they have flexibility as soon as you add a ppc suddenly you don't have flexibility anymore so i do like all of those heat sinks those are those are a good idea and we're gonna add um i think we can add all of our jump jets back yeah we can in fact we're still a little underweight but just barely we could add the small laser back yeah, we could. I kind of wanted to give this to the uh, the blackjack. But it's fine. We'll give it. We'll give it to the uh, vindicator. I won't say I'll never use a PPC, but I'll definitely probably save it for when we have um, a bigger mech that we can at maybe slap two on. Now, this guy here, what I'd like to do for him Okay, this is the Vindic uh, the Shadowhawk isn't a bad. Like it's got everything going right now. It just seems to have like everything. So we're gonna take everything off. I kind of wouldn't mind going long range for, with this, because we can have three missiles. Um. We don't have any more. Is there more? There is really no other weapons here. Is it really just auto cannons? Oh man, that's annoying. What's the range on the auto cannons? Mm, very long. Long. So weirdly, the auto cannon fives are better than the ten. Oh, okay. And the twos are actually very good for distance, but I assume they don't arc. I'm gonna buy I'm gonna buy a couple of uh, AC twos. New weapon systems available. At the very least they're they're twos. The 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 plus sorry they're pluses. The pluses just mean they have a higher chance to crit. They have a minimum distance, so this could possibly work. The the only thing that sucks is I don't think that they arc. Um yeah, I don't think they arc. Oh, are we already nearing our... We're already nearing our... Um, might be... I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna use these, don't worry. But since we're all... Oh, wow, those are really heavy, aren't they? Six tons. Okay, that's why we were nearing our, our limit. Um, we don't have to worry about heat too much. This kind of this kind of sucks. Okay, let's take off the auto cannon. 
I'm gonna use those auto cannons, don't you worry. But um, not on this mech. I want to have those jump jets. I like having jump jets. They just give me that flexibility. We don't need to have too many heat uh, heat sinks. What is the AC five? That's eight tons. The auto cannons are just very heavy. How much are how much heat do they generate? Eight. And these are ten. Wow. Well, I mean, these are LRM tens. If I could, if I had another LRM five, I would put it on here. But I think for now we'll just keep it to this. This is not great, but we need to put some ammo on here, so we're not we're not super done yet. Okay, I mean that's fine. We're we're pretty close. We could put a medium laser on there. How much? Yeah, one ton. We could put a medium laser on there. Max armor. That's just like if we get close enough to something, we can we can shoot it with a medium laser. This works for me. And there you have it. We have refitted all of our mechs. Um, I, I like to double or nothing, you know, double it or give it to the next person. Or double it and give it to the next person. It's like, if a mech has lasers, make it all lasers. You know, like if it's a long range, make it all long range. And that way you have a mech and you know exactly where you need to put it in the battlefield. You know, like if it's short range, you know it has to run up and, and punch something and do a bunch of shoot a bunch of missiles you know like uh, if it's long range you know it has to be in the back and start trebucheting from like across the field so um it makes the your like turn to turn tactics a lot simpler when you kind of you know build into something this is probably very obvious to a lot of people um last thing we have the star map but i will probably never look at this ever um i generally speaking have not looked at it too much it's like the only thing that's relevant to me is what kind of contracts I take. And so if it's like, oh yeah, I mean this biome and that biome and this kind of thing and that kind of thing, I'm like, yeah, that's cool. But like, I have that information on the contracts board. So that's what's relevant to me and that's what matters. Um, I guess the last thing I can talk about, we could customize the company. Let's um, let's pick a color palette. I want to I want to pick a nice emblem for the series that represents the series. Um, kind of like the double axes. There's a lot of these. I appreciate just how much there is. Um, kind of like this. This almost feels like my, uh, like Caves of Cud. Um, carbide, carbide bones. I honestly think that that would be, <laughs> that'd be a good name for the company. Carbide hand bones. Love it. Since we're going for like a carbide look, why don't we um, see if we can't find like blue, cobalt blue, and then uh, nice icy blue, and then we want something for the accents. White. That looks nice. There's other. I just want to quickly look here. That doesn't look bad. I kind of like that. I like, I love carbide hand bones as a, as an outfit. That's really cool. All right, cool. Um, and that's, that's what, like, whenever I buy mechs, whenever I get new ones, they're just going to have that paint style on them. So that's going to be kind of fun. Um, yeah. So the last thing we probably, I probably should talk about is that things take real time in game. Um, so like, I'm going to have to wait for all of my mechs to, you know, get refitted and repaired and stuff like that. And then also I have to pay my mercenaries. Like I have to pay, pay my outfit. Um, and we're going to do that right now. And also while we wait, there's a mini games or a mini story here. So let's do that real quick. You're on the Leopard's Bridge with Samire, Yang and Darius for the daily staff briefing. Darius says, we received three messages from the banks. Loan sharks, Samire cuts in. From the people who are financing us, Darius continues. They're considering rewriting the terms of our loans, so it'll be easier to seize the ship if we miss a payment. As usual, they're only doing this because they believe we can't fight it in court. Educate the, educate the banks about their mistake. I picked this last time and it went well for me. 
I'll deal with it, you say. Later you record a response. Um, in it, you certainly remind your land holders, land holders that a, as a financial institution's operating on Detroit the third, they must abide by local contract law. You even cite the relevant sections of legal code from memory. Then you point out that as you've kept record, records of all payments and correspondence concerning the loans, you'll be able to demonstrate in court that their proposed revisions to the agreed upon terms would represent such a gross violation of the law that you would undoubtedly be awarded a second drop shit at the ship at the uh, bank's expense. Once the camera is off, Samir says, there's no way they push you on this. Too bad. I like to see loan sharks grovel. Your company has gained the following tags. Loan status fair. Not sure what that means, but I just like the result of that. Um, so I'm going to just kind of wait out. Wow, I have to wait two months for the Shadowhawk? So we have a certain amount of money. Um, I'm going to be going for generous. Generous um, raises morale. Extravagant would raise it even more. I could just go for extravagant. Let's go for extravagant. It's it's risky, but... Our net stake is just about gone, Commander. Getting low on sea bills, Commander. I suggest keeping a careful eye on our expenses until we can bring in some more income. Worst comes to worst, we can sell off some extra equipment in the local store. Yeah, why don't we do that um, real quick? I don't think it's worth it. I probably won't. I don't want to sell our pluses. That would just be a gross, like, I have another LRM5. Really? Why, why didn't it, sh did it not show up when I was building the Vindicator? Um, hmm. Okay, well, that, that sucks. Uh, maybe I just missed that because I had a, if I had another long range missile, I would have probably out of cash. I know. Um, so I'm about to hit the financial thing. That means I'm going to only have like 200,000 left. I wonder if I like completely bankrupt here. Wouldn't that suck? I know, I know. <laughs> But I don't have bankruptcy projected. <laughs> um, let's just do normal. So we only have 300,000 left. I need my Shadow Hawk or else I can't do another mission. Shut up! I know. <laughs> I know, I'm broke. I get it. But um, I have to wait for that last mech to... Oh, I wonder if this is off-world. Oh, no! 12 days. Okay, we need we need money. <laughs> we, need, we need money. Roger that, Commander. Course plotted. I should have been... I should have, like, taken the contract and then been moving while the other things were happening. I messed up. Completely. And now I'm pretty sure I have to do a financial, another financial report before I get to the place. Oh God. Uh, that was a, that's a really, really horrendous misplay. <laughs> I don't think this is going to kill this playthrough, but it will sure get close. <laughs> it's going to get real close. I'm going to be very, very skimp. Yeah, I know. I know, dude. Yeah, you sure do, bud. I'm pretty basically going to be undoing that morale bonus I did. Uh, I can't proceed because that's the end of the episode. So we're just going to end the episode there. And um, I have to hope that I am able to do this mission with uh, with very like negligible um damage because because we're gonna we're gonna have to do a couple missions without loss um in order to make some more money um i that that was a uh, pretty brutal um i probably overspent but i wanted to refit my mix and uh 
we'll see we'll see what happens but if you're enjoying this series um please do hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this i'll see you guys next time take it easy